so question three asks us uh, about the fatty acid content of the spermaceti organs of a beluga whale and a pygmy blue whale. Um, basically, I just wrote down what the question states. Uh, beluga whales are in the Arctic and pygmy whales are found in the Indian Ocean. Um, this question needs a little bit of critical thinking, uh, just before we even get into the biochemistry of it. Uh, just keep in mind that the Arctic's cold. It's in the North Pole, so I just keep that in mind that beluga whales are in a cold environment. And pygmy whales are found in a warmer environment because the Indian Ocean is by the equator. Um, in terms of fatty acids, we know that the more double bonds that a fatty acid has, the lower its melting temperature, and the more saturated a fatty acid is, or no double bonds, the higher its melting temperature. Uh, unsaturated fatty acids are less tightly packed because of the kinks uh, due to the cis double bonds. So uh, this means that the membranes like, of the lipids are more fluid um, and are less likely to freeze than with membranes that are saturated. So in knowing this, we can kind of conclude that the beluga whale is comprised mostly of unsaturated fatty acids. It's in a cold environment. It doesn't want to have a stiff membrane. It wants to be more fluid with the kinks that are comprised of a unsaturated fatty acid. And then the pygmy whales, since they're in a warmer environment, we can say they are comprised of more saturated fatty acids.